Now we are starting with the chemical properties of uh, alkaline group. So the first property is that, that uh, how they react with water. So before we start with the chemical properties, you should know about their reactivity. As you know, they are smaller in size than alkali metals. So if we talk about their reactivity, so that means they are comparatively less reactive. And the reason being because they are smaller size and comparatively they have high ionization energy. But if, as far as their reactivity is concerned within the group, so that means as we move down, we know that size is increasing, ionization energy is decreasing, metallic character is increasing, so that means the reactivity is increasing. So in the group, beryllium is going to be uh, quite less reactive and uh, the last member as we go down, the reactivity is increasing. So the first property is that reaction with water. So we have seen that if we compare the reactivity with water as compared to the alkali, they are somehow less reactive. But still they react and you will be surprised to know that uh, beryllium do not react with water even it is boiling water or even it is steam or even it is cold water. It does not react with water in any circumstances. The reason being is that because it has least electrode potential so it cannot displace hydrogen and moreover it is less electropositive due to small size and high ionization energy. But rest of the member they react with water forming their hydroxide and liberating a hydrogen gas. You know what happened that magnesium when react with the water it uh, actually reacts on bo uh, boiling because whenever it reacts on its surface a layer of oxide is formed. So we need to keep it amalgating with the uh, mercury in order to remove that la uh, the layer so that it can uh, react with the water forming its hydroxide. Otherwise if we talk about the members from calcium onwards they have affinity for water and they are reacting. So as far as the order of reactivity is concerned, barium react vigorously, strontium less, calcium uh, less than that and even magnesium less than that. So this is the order and you know that uh, there are special names for the hydroxides or you can say they are serving as important use, some of the alkali metal, uh, alkaline metal hydroxides like magnesium hydroxide is in water is called as milk of magnesia. And calcium hydroxide, you are uh, this thing familiar with this thing that is the lime water as it is an appropriate test for the CO2 as CO2 when passed through the lime water it turns lime water milky. So this is what is the calcium hydroxide and we know that calcium is a member of alkaline group. So this is what about the reaction of alkaline group metals with the water.